Your wedding is one of the most special events of your life. But before this big day can happen, there's a question that needs to be asked first. That's where we come in. Here we go. I'm Aubrey. I'm Sarah. And we're proposal fairy godmothers, working hard to make couples' dreams come true. Ah! Welcome to The Proposal. Today on the show, we meet shy guy Jason, who breaks out of his shell with a very public proposal. Amy Ford, over here. Are you? I'm confused. Did they just say my name? And in Victoria, BC, a wannabe groom shocks this wedding dress designer by proposing on the catwalk. Really nervous. <laughs> I think once I get out there and see all the people, then it's gonna be not so good. Today is about PDAs, not the gross kind proposal displays of affection. What better way to profess your love than to say it in front of hundreds of people? Meet quiet guy Sean. I'm a little bit more, not reserved, but more laid back, I guess. Nine months ago, he and Lily met online and went on their first date. Tim, my first words ever out of my mouth were, are you an ax murderer? After she <laughs> hopped into my truck. <laughs> Afterwards. <laughs> they instantly clicked. It just seemed right. It was just everything about her just seemed right. And we were just so comfortable with each other right away. When we say Sean's a quiet guy, we mean it. We went out on a date. We don't really know each other. And we're sitting there. He doesn't talk, like ever. I guess I was just really attracted to you. And I figured, I was thinking, He's got to talk to some people. Like, there's no way he goes around like a mute all the time. <laughs> <laughs> she made me nervous at first. No one else has ever made me nervous. Sean knew she was the one. It actually happened really quickly for me. It was probably maybe three weeks into when we started seeing each other more often. Now, the two are attached at the hip. We're never apart. So Sean is planning a public proposal. Shy guy, hundreds of people. Here we go. Lily is a wedding dress designer. Now that's appropriate. Lily is a fashion designer. She designs mostly wedding gowns. Sean is taking full advantage of her love for design by planning a surprise proposal that she'll never see coming. Lily is showcasing her latest line at the Victoria Bridal Exhibition. Sean is going to use the end of her show as the perfect proposal platform. Say that five times fast. She's always so busy making everyone else's wedding dreams come true. Figured it would be kind of neat to surprise her. So she thinks the TV crews are featuring her fashion line. There are so many lies when it comes to love. Wait, no. The good kind of lie. She thinks she's doing a spot for TV, so she thinks that's why she's being followed around, and I hope that's all she knows. Here's the fashion forward plan. Once Lily's fashion show starts, Sean will sneak away and hide backstage. At the end of the show, as Lily heads onto the catwalk for her designer bow, Sean will also take to the stage and surprise his gal with those four magical words. It's proposal day here at the Victoria Bridal Exhibition. Hundreds of people have stopped by to scope out the newest wedding day trends. Hold it like this. These two are quite the team. You know, you're my assistant, oh, no, my slave. CEO. What else are you? CEO. My gardener. gardener. You're my gardener. He's my uh, gopher. <laughs> 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 He's perfect. He does everything for me. Must be nice. Now Lily has totally taken the expose bait. Do you enjoy knowing that you're helping fulfill their dreams on oh, their yeah. day? My favorite thing, everyone's always like, oh my god, it's better than I imagined, and I love that. Did you see yourself getting married? Um, I was always pretty independent. I was good on my own, but now I want to get married. I will, and I'm not designing my own dress. I'll probably just buy one and change it a lot. I'm done the interviewing, but now I guess they're going to follow me around a little. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like that, I guess. You nervous for me, baby? It's warm in here. But you're sweaty. Why are you nervous? It's you don't have to be nervous. Uh, Sean, you're going to need to lie a little bit better than that. Look at this. We should get this when we get married one day. Yeah. Is she on to us? Okay, this is not helping Sean's nerves. I'm pretty nervous right now. It's time. I'm 
remember if it falls off, it's totally fine. Yep, just go with it. I don't care because we're going for like a 30s, dirty 30s, trashy, just rolled out of the alley kind of look. Perfect. Just kind of before you go out, yeah, go like, up. go like that, and just super trashy. Okay. Is there anything you're nervous about when it comes to this proposal plan? Mostly freezing when I see everyone out there, but I'm hoping not to pay any attention to them and just focus on Lily. It's almost time for Lily's showcase, but the crowd seems to think the fashion show is over. I have no idea what's going on. They are having issues with all the computers and sort of the back screen. I'm a little bit stressed out. Everybody's starting to leave. Everybody just Ladies left. Everyone got up and left. And right now. Okay. Yeah, like 50 people just got up and left. And everyone's gone. What a nightmare. They don't know your system's gone. Oh no, not good. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a perfect proposal setup. I'm stressed out. Everything that I'm expecting is not happening. really nervous. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay now, but I think once I get out there and see all the people, then it's gonna be not so good. I've been going over my speech for a week now. Uh, hopefully I can get it out, <laughs> but I don't know. I'm starting to freak out a little bit. This could be one question she is in no mood to hear. Now, 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 now. Hi, baby. It's Bridal Exhibition Day in Victoria, BC. Super shy wannabe groom Sean is about to propose to his girlfriend right after her bridal fashion show, which hasn't gone at all like she planned. Everybody just left. Everyone got up and left. This could be one question she is in no mood to hear. I'm starting to freak out a little bit. Deep breath. Just clear your mind, happy place. Everything is happening so quickly. Okay. Now, 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 now. And then most of it is a blank after that. Hi, baby. Hi. What are you doing? Hi. I just wanted to tell you that I'm so proud of you for doing this. You are absolutely amazing. <laughs> She's starting to tear up, which I wasn't expecting, and that that threw me off a little bit. I love you so much. Okay. You. <laughs> what are you doing? You're my perfect girl. I've loved you since the day I met you. <laughs> I'm kind of drawing a blank here. I'm gonna try to start the speech again. And I picked the mic up and uh, I had a whole speech, but. Forget it. I'm just gonna ask her to marry me. Speech. What I'm trying to say, baby. Aubrey, obviously she said yes. <laughs> oh wow, that's pretty. <laughs> I think she looked really good. Yeah. <laughs> I had a great one. It didn't work. We have to wait for the crowd now. <laughs> so I walk backstage and I demand that since he choked, I want to hear what he had to say because he's never said those words to me. He texts me all the time, and I want to hear it. I had a whole big long speech all planned What did it say? Say it now. So we'll say it. Yeah. Say it now? Yeah. Okay, so Sean may not be the best public speaker, but he's not a quitter. I just wanted you to know that I'm so proud of you. 
You're an amazing person. So loving, caring, sweet, and passionate. You're absolutely perfect for me. You're my best friend, the love of my life, and my soulmate. <laughs> I never thought it was possible to love someone as much as I love you, or feel loved as I do from you. You make me so happy. You've made my life complete. I can't wait to spend the rest of it with you. You spend so much of your time making everyone else's dreams come true. Now all I want to do is make the yours come true. And then the way will you marry me. I love you, baby. He's never said that stuff to me. He did really well. I didn't really expect to have such a big deal made of it. I think he wanted to make it really special for me, and he totally did. There's no doubt he's the one. He's my one. I can't wait to marry him. And I can't wait to see your dress. Up next, meet Amy and Jason, who met on Canada Day, Down Under. Do you come from a land down under? Where women glow and men plunder. Can't you hear, can't you hear the thunder? Aww. Oh. no, no, Veggie my, veggie my. Jason and I met in Brisbane, Australia. Um, Jason was there um, doing his animation degree and I was there working. We have a mutual friend that had a Canada Day party and it was actually my little sister who said, hey, oh, Amy, what do you think of the guy with the, the lip ring over there? And he, so she sort of pointed him out. Good job, sis. <laughs> little sis was right. And soon after meeting, they made the decision to move back to Canada. I knew I wanted to marry Amy when she agreed to leave Australia to come back to BC with me. I, I feel like I knew pretty quick. <laughs> and I think um, when I, we decided to uh, move back together, that sort of cemented how we both felt about each other. Back in Canada and living in Abbotsford, British Columbia, Jason is ready to pop the question. I love Amy. I love, I love everything about her. Um, she's the one. I want to marry her and be with her for the rest of my life. He's such a good person, like he's genuinely a nice person. He um, is hilarious <laughs> and just treats me so well. Jason's asked us to help him do something he's never done before. Propose? Well, obviously, but talk in front of a large group of people. Jason was really, really shy when he was young. If anybody came over when he was a bit older, he would run and hide until he was comfortable, then he'd come out. Me and mom. When I was young, I was really shy. And this shy guy knows that a grand gesture proposal will show Amy just how much he cares. And mom, there for support. I can totally see her showing this one off. I'm really surprised that he's doing a really, really public proposal, but I'm really excited about it. Can I get you to hide this at your place so Amy can't find it? Oh yeah, <laughs> I'd love to hide this. <laughs> now we wanted to do something as close to Australia as possible. Where are there a lot of Australians in Canada? Whistler! Here's the plan. Jason and Amy will be in Whistler at the Longhorn Saloon with friends celebrating Canada Day. When the time is right, Jason will slip away to get in position for the big moments. A song will be played over the PA system. This will cue Jason to muster up his courage and pop the question. I'll have some romantic speech prepared and it'll end with Amy, will you marry me? And the plan is she'll say yes and, <laughs> and scream and <laughs> probably come, come run into me or something like that. <laughs> Happy Canada Day! It's Canada Day and we're in beautiful Whistler, British Columbia. And my job is to interview them about Canada Day. We're going to start with some Canada trivia. How do you say Happy Canada Day in French? Je ne sais, je ne sais pas. I got them. Canada Day tradition. Do you have one? Uh, flip cup. Flip cup? What's flip cup? Yeah. 
while. We're here at the Longhorn in Cognito. I'm undercover with Jason's mom, his brother, and sister-in-law. They're wearing wigs. I love Jason's mom. Nice disguise, Adam. Hey, hey, look at this. While Aubrey is clearly having a good time, I hope she remembers her main goal is to distract Amy and give Jason the signal to get ready. Aubrey was getting up around doing drinking games and, you know, putting on her Canada Day special. Focus, Aubrey. Focus. Oh, I'm focused. She went, let's go, it's time, after these shots. And I'm like, really? <laughs> is it, uh, in my mind, I thought, isn't it kind of early? We're waiting for, uh, we're waiting for the song. Shong, song, shmong, go! Just go! She's like, just go. <laughs> so, I went. <laughs> you got What do you got? My job is to distract Amy, and I did it. And go. And then... Amy Ford, over here. Is that you? I see the back of Jason's head, and we're stuck in a corner. This is not the cue. Jason deviated from the plan. He did not follow you the plan. Always made me, follow so me. Happy. me and Mom are going to miss the whole thing. We're in Whistler, BC, celebrating Canada Day, where our wannabe groom is starting to propose before his cue. His family has traveled great distances to be here and are about to miss the big moment. Amy Ford! When I first heard my name over the PA system, I was, you know, confused. I was like, oh, is that, did they just say my name? Over here. Is that you? <laughs> and then when I turned around and saw Jason there with a microphone. You've always made me so happy. And I'm always looking for new ways to tell you that I love you. And this I want everyone to know that I want you to be with me for the rest of our lives. <laughs> yes! Yes! She said yes! Mom made it in the nick of time to see her little boy shine. It all sort of made sense. Like, I was like, oh, like, of course, all of my friends are here. It's actually happening, and it was just overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we dance? <laughs> oh, my god. You planned this all, didn't you? I've planned this for months. <laughs> It was so thoughtful of her to fly Jessica and Adam here. It was really thoughtful and meant a lot that they were here. Jason, Amy and Jason, let's do a big cheer. And how did mom think her shy guy did in this public forum? I'm really proud of my son, Jason. Oh, absolutely. He's just absolutely the best. I play a special song too, honey. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful girls. <laughs> It just really speaks to how thoughtful Jason is. He knows how much my friends mean to me and how close we all are, and it was just, it was amazing. And there's just one more person Amy needs to tell. Hi, I have some news. <laughs> my mom, of course. Oh, I'm going to cry. Jason and I got engaged. <laughs> as soon as she answered, I could hear her voice. Amy, and I was like, Mom, and she just, she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, you know what I'm doing, and we just both started crying, and I wish they could have been there. In the end, I am very happy with how it turned out. Oh 
The surprises aren't over, Amy. For the next couple of days, you are living in the lap of luxury at Fairmont Chateau Whistler. When I originally planned this trip to Whistler, we were going to stay in the van and maybe crash on a friend's couch. But now, we're staying at the Fairmont Chateau Whistler, which is amazing. It's been beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So excited about being engaged. The time it took to sink in, it, you know, I feel like the whole day was just a blur and exciting and overwhelming. To me, the definition of true love is, is when you trust someone and you want to be with them forever. Wardrobe for Sarah, provided by Frox. Aubrey's clothes provided by Crystal Lee. Accommodations provided by Parkside Victoria Resort and Spa. Accommodations provided by Fairmont Chateau Whistler. He is a complete ball of hair. <laughs> so I was going like this, rubbing his ball of hair, and I was like, you are a puffle. And then I don't know, it just kind of stuck. Kinda He's stuck. a puffle. We went out on a date. We don't really know each other, and we're sitting there. He doesn't talk. Like, ever. He just sits there and drinks. <laughs> like, there's no way he goes around like a mute all the time. <laughs> right? So we've got to, like, a, I'm going to get him to talk. So I agree to go out again. Doesn't talk. I talked a little bit. No, nothing. <laughs> he said, he told the server what he wanted. And then every <laughs> once in a while, this all he would say is, mm -hmm. no. Talk lots now. Now you talk yeah. constantly. Did he talk a lot to you guys? I had to talk. I had to you. talk. My friends even say, what's Puffle's name? Because they don't know. <laughs> he actually wrote me a check for a million dollars, and uh, it was made out to Lily Reimering, so I had to marry him so that I could cash it. I'm sure you don't have a million dollars, but you, never know. you tried to trick me into marrying him, actually, is what I think has happened here. <laughs> uh, I had a whole speech, but... It wasn't a very good speech, though. It was a really awful speech. You made me nervous. <laughs> you got all flustered. Are you not a good public that. speaker? No, I'm a horrible public speaker. <laughs> That's why he was practicing it for so long. Aw. I'm gonna marry Puffle. He hates the name Puffle, but that's, I've called him my, this is Puffle. <laughs> I'll make time to marry you, Puffle. Thanks. <laughs> Getting right in. I left the lights on last night. How come? I didn't mean to. Battery's dead. <laughs> What a ham. <laughs> so I quickly turned off. You're like, oh, yeah. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Oi, oi, oi! Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Ozzy, Ozzy! Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! If you want to learn more about our couples and their road to the big day, check out our webpage, shaw.ca slash the proposal. Next week on The Proposal. True love is when you find your best friend and do you want to be with that person for the rest of your life and nobody else. The moment I knew I wanted to marry Julie wasn't an exact, it was more of a realization over a short period of time, realizing how she turned me into sort of a better person, making me realize how much family was important to me. So okay if I put uh, blindfolds on you guys? And I took her blindfold off and I started speaking to her. I could just feel my eyes watering up and I started crying and it was very emotional and and it's sort of like everything came to the surface all at once. And I was like, this is happening right now. And this is, this is really it. Taking a blindfold off. Julie? <laughs> oh my god! Julie. <laughs>